So today we're going to take a look at the density and mass in Cinema 4D. So this is quite an important lesson because it's just basic physics. So I'm just going to set my project gravity to zero. It's already set to zero. Just go to project settings, dynamics, general, and I'm setting the gravity to zero centimeters. So next I'm going to create two cubes, 100 by 100 centimeters. Call this cube L for left, copy it and call this cube R for right. So I'm going to put the left one over here and the right one over here. I'm just going to go to coordinates and give these a round number, so minus 400 and 400. So it's nice and symmetrical. Zoom in a bit, go to lines mode. Okay, so next I'm going to give these a rigid body tag. And I'm going to give these an initial velocity. So the left cube, the red arrow is pointing this way. So this is plus x. So I'm going to give it an initial velocity of, um, or is it dynamics, custom initial velocity. And this first value is x. I'm going to give it 500. And this second right cube, I'm going to give it an initial velocity of minus 500. So it's traveling this way, away from the positive uh, direction. I'm just going to play this simulation back. So we basically get collision and then a perfectly symmetrical uh, rebound on both sides. That's because these objects have the same mass and density. So density is basically the material something is made of. So if this was lead and this was plastic, which is less dense, obviously the lead one is going to push the plastic one out of the way this way. So that's what density is basically. And if this is lead and we increase the size, obviously the bigger it gets, the heavier it's going to get. The thing is with mass, if we gave this a fixed mass, the bigger it gets, the mass isn't going to change. So it's actually going to get less dense. So imagine this as a fixed mass. It starts off at lead, and then as I scale it larger, it's going to become wood, and then maybe plastic. Assuming the density is fixed, the larger something gets, the heavier it's going to get, the more mass it's going to have. So I'm going to focus on my left cube, and I'm going to go to mass, the mass tab under the rigid body tag, and we have world density, and it's set to 1. So basically, if this cube is 100 by 100 by 100, basically 1 meter cubed, it's going to have a density of 1. If I made this y uh, value 200, it's going to be 2 meters cubed. So it's going to have a, a world density of 2. And I'm just going to play this back. And as you can see, it's heavier. So it's pushing this uh, right-hand side cube out of the way because they're both made of the same material and this one's larger. So I'm just going to set this back. And we can actually give objects custom density and custom mass. So, so I'm going to give this left cube a custom density of 2. So even though they're the same size, this one is now more dense and it pushes the right cube out of the way. So, has more. so basically this one's lead and this one's plastic because this one's more dense. So I'm just going to set that back. The right hand cube, I'm going to give it a custom mass. And I'm going to give it a mass of 10. And as you can see, this one is clearly denser than this one because its custom mass is 10 and this has a mass of 1. Even though they're the same size, um, basically mass and density have a kind of relationship. If this has a mass of 10 and this has a mass of 1, this, is, this has got to be a different material like lead and this has to be something like wood. So I'm just going to set that back. And I'm going to make this left-hand cube really large. 
So it's much larger than this one, but I'm going to give it small mass. So even though it's large, it has a small mass, so it's like styrofoam plastic in a way. And this one has a mass of one, so even though it's larger, it's still getting pushed out of the way. Because this is something like lead and this is something like plastic. So that was a basic introduction to density and mass in Cinema 4D. If you found this tutorial useful, please share it and thanks for watching.